I remember we were making out. You asked me to go to prom with you, and I was like, no. He was in the room for my first hookup. <laughs> <laughs> she dubbed me. I don't want a wife. I don't want a girlfriend. I'm going to be a single guy. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to Brooke and Paul. Make sure to click subscribe because we just started. We're growing fast and we're really excited to have everyone here. Yes, we are. We're going to get into the story of how we met and how we've gotten to this point. Once upon a time, about eight years ago, because if we're dating for seven we and a half, we really knew each other for at least almost a year. I was 14 when we were That's crazy, talking. guys. She was 14 yeah. and she's 23. Yeah. That's nine years. But right before I was about to be 15, we were like... Yeah, we already hooked up. I was 17. No, you were 16. Really? Yeah, because I called you on your 17th birthday. All right, we need to get the fucking story okay, straight. All right, all, right, all right, let's start with how did we even cross paths? So I went to school with Brooke's first cousin, mm -hmm. Tristan. At the time, Tristan and I were very close, really good friends. So Brooke was homeschooled. We lived in the same town. We would have went to the same schools, but she just wasn't there. We literally lived down the road. So yeah, I didn't know Brooke. I forget how I may have seen you. Oh, wait. I saw you maybe at his house that first time. With the that was the first time I ever knew who you were. When you were... And yeah. I was, so we actually have a funny... There's something really ironic. I don't want to say Should we not? Yeah, no, we're not going to say it. Uh, oh, we can say it. We can no, say we're it. not going to say it. Just say it and I'll cut it out if I don't feel uncomfortable. At one point in time, Brooke and I were in the same... Before we even met, we were in the same room. Locking lips. Locking with lips other with other people. But like... In the same room. In the, the same, same room. Yeah. That's so weird to think about. He was in the room for my first hookup. <laughs> That's fucking weird. <laughs> and it wasn't with you. That's so weird. Yeah, no, but it like, was just all. It was you, all weird. Like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I was. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Okay, so. We were in the same room with each other, locking lips with other people. Fast forward about a few months. I know that this is Tristan's cousin, and I say to Tristan, something along the lines of like, hey, I think your cousin's like really pretty. Would you mind giving me her Snapchat? And now Paul is two years older than me, and so is my cousin Tristan. Yeah, Tristan and I was So that was like a bold, like his little cousin. Yeah, and Tristan, he's a great guy, ended up giving me Brooke's Snapchat. This is 11th grade, I'm in gym class. So I get her Snapchat. I snap her i think she dubbed me and i was like yo this girl's like too hot to not so i'm gonna send her one more so i sent her another snapchat and then she answered so now i'm like all right for it let me work my like magic. i'm dying to know what you said what did i say back what, what what went on now you know we're starting to snapchat i'm 16 she's 14 that's crazy mm -hmm. Brooke was cheerleading at the time, and I remember our snap streak was building up, right? We were at like... It was like 45 days. Yeah. <laughs> we were at like 40-something days, right? And now she's a cheerleader. She goes to Worlds, which is a giant cheerleading competition in Disney. And I remember she didn't answer me for a day, and then our snap streak was gone. We still had never hung out at this point? Um, no, I don't think so. Yeah, we'd never like hung out during these 45 days of Snapchatting. No, we were just Snapchatting, and then she's at Worlds, cheerleading. Leading, she f***s up the snap streak. She doesn't snap. How'd you feel? I was confused. Now Brooke's back and I'm turning 17. My birthday's in May. Yeah, like, you She was in world in, in April. April, yeah. So I'm turning 17. That's when I got my car. You got it like right before your 17th birthday. Yeah, I got it the and day And now, before. like this was cool for me because I didn't go to school. So I didn't have really close guy friends or anything like that. I just had guys that I would like hang out with with my friends sometimes and they were my age and whatever. But I felt like I was so comfortable with you. Even though we weren't hanging out, I, I know that I was completely myself because on your 17th birthday, I FaceTimed him with my best friend Kaylee. I was fucking 14. So I was making up like dances with her in my basement and he's getting home from a party. He's in his car, like not driving. He was just like sitting in his car, like waiting for his birthday to turn, whatever. And so I FaceTimed him and we're showing him the dance. Like I would never do that to like a regular guy, you know? I can tell that I felt really comfortable with you because I was literally like, hysterical laughing, wishing you happy birthday before the time turn and we never really even hung out before that why do you think you felt so comfortable i don't know i i think that your persistence was a good thing because i wasn't like like i don't really i didn't care of 14 yeah i always said growing up like i don't want a wife i don't want a girlfriend i'm gonna be a single 
guy <laughs> and my good friend, or one of our best friends, mm -hmm. Mel, would say to me, one day that is going to change, you're going to meet the love of your life, and you'll never say that again. And she's going to she, be small and blonde, is what she said. <laughs> and here's my small blonde, and Mel was 100% right. Uh -huh. I'll always remember that. Like we said earlier, Brooke was homeschooled. So there was like this mysterious thing about her where people kind of knew her. She was hot, but she didn't go to our school. So it was like, who is this girl? Does she go out? Like, do we? does anybody see her? And nobody <laughs> really, like saw her but they knew of her because of tristan tristan's family was like big in our town like everybody knew yeah, them we have, and we have the same last name yeah same last name obviously like we were hanging out with my cousins and stuff yeah. so that's kind of where we would see most people yeah okay so now fast forward a bit now it's like beginning of my senior year and brooke and i would like schedule a hangout so we would go through <laughs> talia talia is tristan's sister who's me close with talia, brooke. Are, yeah, they were a year close. apart so and talia was so down for like me being with her cousin. You know what's funny? Like, a lot of people are always like, no, that's my family to like stay away. But the Mooney is like, they wanted me in their family. I was already like a part of their so family. Close to them. And it was just like a really Even like my thing. aunt and uncle. This Shout is out to the Mooney. We're, we're getting ahead of ourselves though. We are. I'm so I want to add, I had a dream about Talia last night. Really? Yeah, isn't that weird? So now we're going through Talia. I'm like, Talia, like, can you have Brooke come over to your house? I'm going to come over after this party. Like, I want to hang out. Whatever. So Talia was the Aww. middle man. Shout out to Talia. She knows that she's there. Hell Talia, yeah. Dell, we had a squad of people that were, putting like, in, yeah. that were like behind putting the scenes work. putting in work. That's how hard it was to hang out with it me was, because like, I just wasn't. No, like she was very mysterious and like. I also like. It was this weird thing, but it was cool because. I don't know. I felt weird feel like, being I was, like, mom, uh, can I hang out with yeah. this guy at such a young age? I felt like I was breaking barriers. Now, like I said, we're going through Talia and this would happen frequently where we'd be like, all right, Talia, like I'm going to go to this party. I'm going to come back to your house after and you get Brooke to come over. So, but most of the time, me and Celia were already together. Senior year, I would leave the parties a little bit early and I would skateboard. So I would skate to the parties and I would skate to Talia's house to meet up with Brooke. There's been times where I've eaten shit, <laughs> fell flat on my, just like scraped up all my hands. Whatever I had to do to get to this girl, I was going through it. Okay? So, if you wanted to, you would. It's like a saying, a girl just like wants a guy to do something for them, but they won't do it. It's like, if he wanted to do it, he would, and if he doesn't want to, then f*** him. Okay, so that happened many times. I would go to parties, come back to the Talia's house, and me and Brooke would be like hanging out behind vivid, closed doors. I have a vivid memory of me and Talia were walking a random dog. I don't know yes, whose dog this was. I, remember that. I think it might have been my aunt's friend's dog or something. I do not remember. But we were walking this dog and all of a sudden I don't I don't even know if I was expecting you to like get there that early or whatever. And you pull up to us and you're like, I just ate shit. Just <laughs> Your hands are bleeding. Over. I'm like, what the fuck? But we would hang out and we would hook up. But hook up meaning just like making like out. making out. I mean, that was going on for months. That started in April. We were hanging out before your birthday, before that FaceTime call. Okay, maybe. But we just started. So it was April, I remember. It was before Worlds. So we heard, hung out for the first time before Worlds, which is the cheer competition where I left on open. And then we're hanging out like a little bit throughout like the whole summer. We didn't really hang out that many times though. Probably like six? Yeah, yeah. Through From like April to when we started like talking was probably like October. October. Aww. I should say October of 2015 is when I like told my mom that I was like wanted to hang out with him, asked her if I could. He would come to my house. I would go to his house. Like our parents started to catch drift. Wait, but I would come on. here before we were dating? Yeah, in my downstairs room. We just immediately got along so well. Like we For always, real? there was always a conversation happening. There was never like an awkward, it was never like, it was an immediate click and our chemistry were just like... Dude. We were, it's like we were meant for you. No, for real, it's fate. Because right. actually, like, a 14-year-old girl, what is she gonna, she's gonna riz up a f***ing 16, 17-year-old? But I'm saying, like, just worked. Like, it didn't feel awkward. I wasn't, like... It wasn't feel like we were trying I had no hard. conversation just, like, skills. Like, I was so young, you know? And, yeah, there was no, like, pulling of the teeth to have a conversation. Literally, it was literally never. immediate. We were just, it was effortless which is not typical that's not easy you know oh like i literally it's perfect we eventually started hanging out heavily october 2015 that's crazy october november and then december comes where you're like very serious and then i asked brooke out december 18th 
2015. Can we both tell our perspectives on that day or time? We're in my room December 18th, 2015. I think we're just hanging out in my bed, probably making out because we were. If any we family really is busy. watching this, I'm sorry, but we made out a lot. We were little. Okay? We were very attracted to each other. We still are. I remember we were making out and I was like, I pulled away <laughs> and I said, do you want to be my girlfriend? Right? Yeah. And then... Boom. Fireworks like, yeah. went off, sparks were flying. And then right I back to the first thing out. I did, well, then we did that. And then I grabbed my phone and I texted my mom, he asked me to be his girlfriend Aww, because my so mom cute. was so annoying. Like, when's he going to ask you out? Are you guys going to date? I'm like, mom, it's been three weeks. She's like, <laughs> no, you guys are, he's going to ask you out, right? Like, you're not wasting your time. Like, you're going to, he's going to ask you out. And I'm like, oh my God. And then we started dating, right? And this was like maybe a month into it. She's like, so why don't you see Paul? Like, why do you only see him once a week? It was just starting out. Like, mm -hmm. we would see each other once a week, pretty much. Two times a week, you know? I'm like, what do you want me to do? Why don't we just start dating? She's like, I just feel like, don't you want to be with him all the time? I'm like, yeah, but like, also <laughs> no. Like, I just started dating him. She was like literally pushing me towards you. She Shout loved out, him from the beginning. But then I have something. When Paul graduated high school 2016 so we start dating in december he graduates in june in between those months he asked me to go to prom with him and now this is before i met any of his grade i knew like some i'm pretty of his sure friends. she said no that's what i'm getting to <laughs> now that i think of it no guys i'm sorry this is all over the place before this is what i was trying to debate before before we started dating you asked me to go to prom with you and i was like no i'm not going to prom with you i don't know any of your friends i'm so young no this is scary. And you're like, can you just think about it? And I'm like, I don't know. And then I went home and I told my mom. She's like, you had to go. I was like, mom. Because didn't Brianna also go to a prom? Yeah, so I'm like, mom, no. I, I I don't know. Then we started dating. And you're like, okay, now you have to come to prom. And I'm like, all right, fine. I remember posting a picture on Instagram. Took a goddess to prom. Oh. And she was two years younger than all the girls there. Some girls were older. Maybe some of them were young too. Dude. But sorry to ever, anybody who's listening that went to my prom. But mm -hmm. this girl, two years younger, was the most beautiful girl at the prom. I looked like a winner. I was pretty <laughs> handsome myself. So we just killed it. Okay, but here's something I wanted to add. So now we started in December 2015. January 2016. Fast forward to like March, April, May. Baseball season. I'm a big baseball guy. If you don't know that about me, that was my life. I love it so much. And I would, I think I had ninth period off. I scheduled my schedule where I would be able to leave school early. So I had ninth period off. I would leave school and I would come here. And me and Brooke would just lay in her bed. Do you remember that? Yeah. In her old room downstairs, we would just lay in her bed. I would be just I could picture up. my, oh, that's, a, that's <laughs> another thing that's good. I would come here before practice. I would just hang in her bed, lay in her bed with her. And then I would stay for probably an hour, a little over an hour, and then head back to school and then have baseball practice which we ended up winning the county champions that year and get tell them what i did she missed a selena gomez concert for my county championship baseball game mm -hmm. i had tickets and we to won go. And, and he beautiful. really wanted me to be there. So me and my mom both Every, missed it. Yeah. Brittany went with Brianna I, and, and Molly. And I kids, this is crazy. I vividly remember. So her family, like her brothers, both had Mustangs. Tristan had a Mustang. The Moonies, they were Mustang people. I remember seeing like your dad come. And like I would get, <laughs> like that would make me so happy. Like her family's yeah. actually coming to watch me play. But that's so cool. And I remember seeing her brothers are pulling up in their Mustangs. And Tristan's behind them in his Mustang. It was such a fun time. It's so fun now though. It is. It's so Oh, he's tearing. It's so fun because my siblings were all pretty close in age. Like, Brianna and Brittany are 11 years apart, which when you're both girls, once you get older, it doesn't really matter. My brothers are so close in age with you <laughs> and me, and it's just so fun. Like, this weekend, we're going away with them, and Paul, it makes me so happy that Paul... <laughs> Um, I just feel a lot, okay? Yeah, Brandon and I are one year apart. It's just so nice to, like, see him be so close with all my siblings. You're close with every single one mm -hmm. of them, you know? And I love it. And I, I think that's the same for And same for you, for with me. my family. Yeah. And they're all older. I'm the youngest. <laughs> my oldest sister is 10 years older than me. Oh, and we love her. my brother is 6 years older. My other sister is 7 years older. So they're all, like, I 8, 9 them. years older than Brooke, 12 years older than Brooke. But we're all so close. I which is love amazing. your family so much. Let's bring you to our first date. 
So <laughs> this is like so not chronological. No, and I'm sorry for that, but it's just <laughs> I like I said, the more we're talking about it, the more is coming up. We went to Mama Teresa's. <laughs> we because had, tell them why. I actually have no idea. She loved it. That's because all. Because I, I would get it. Me and my family would order it at least all once a week, time. and I would always get the grilled chicken panini from there. Oh my god, it's so it's so good. fire, and I wanted him to have it, so he took me on a date. So we went to Mama Teresa's. Had a <laughs> that nice was little so date. like little of us. Like grilled chicken kid. paninis and two sprites. <laughs> how we roll. Then we got to my house. We were hanging out in my den and Richie's mom, Nancy, she was at my house hanging out with my mom. So Brooke immediately met Nancy off the rip. Mm -hmm. Like that's my family basically. She was thrown into the mix mm -hmm. immediately. I was the first girlfriend out of like all the people that your siblings are mm -hmm. married to slash getting mm -hmm. married to. So I was around for all that, which I love. Like I love that, that I was there for all of it. It's so crazy to think though, eight years. Like when Almost it's December, December is gonna be eight years. Yeah, it is. It's I didn't go away to college because I wanted to stay with Brooke. I had an opportunity to play baseball at a small school in Connecticut. You didn't want to do that though. No, I didn't like the school, but I I really stayed home to be with her, which was the best decision of my life because that's also when I started my business eventually. But everything happens for a reason. 100%. And all my friends were at college, like drinking, partying, getting with girls, and I was just home working and with my girlfriend, and I loved it. Listen, all I know is this relationship is the best thing that ever happened to me. I'm so grateful for every which way it turned, went throughout the journey, and like he just said, everything happens for a reason, and I believe that I'm with a person that truly makes me better, and that's what everyone should be striving for. And same for me. Something that's also cool is we were already dating before we started our careers. Yeah, like, that I love. So cool. Like, that is such a flex. I didn't have a clothing brand, and she was an influencer. Like, we didn't just meet, and we're like, oh, no. Yeah. Like, we f***ing were both there for when we both started mm -hmm. from the bottom and we both had each other's backs that's why we are where we are today yeah. because we have each other okay do you have anything else you want to say i feel like there's so much more to say there is so much more to say we can do a part two we can of do a part like two. our moving on from that maybe because yeah. i mean there's been eight years since that almost eight years and yeah we have to catch a train so <laughs> this it. is the story of how we met and, yeah uh, i hope you guys enjoyed please let us know more video ideas in the comments if you want to hear more relationship stuff mm -hmm. let us know and uh, hit that thumbs up and we love you Peace out. wait we have to seal with a kiss <laughs> he had no problem saying no Right? Did that make sense? He, had no he problem said saying absolutely. Yeah. Wait, one more time. Tristan had no problem saying no. He was no. Like, Tristan. Just, <laughs> just, Tristan had no problem. Just say Tristan said yes. <laughs> You're not making Tr any sense. Okay, Tristan said yes. It's like we got me and Tristan engaged. Tristan said yes.